What up, Floss Tube? Yes, I'm a goofball. I decided to do my video this week a day early because I had some time. And I've been very anxious to talk to you about all the stuff that I've been jotting in my new, new book this week. On the front, it says, In the midst of our lives, we must find the magic that makes our souls soar. And for sure, that is cross-stitch for me. So, we'll get right into it. And I just noticed I have the same shirt on as my last video. Uh, you will see me in different clothes in the future. Okay. I changed my YouTube channel name to Stitcherista. If any of you have gone to my channel recently, that was my blog name. And I did not know how to change it on YouTube. And I found a video actually on YouTube that showed me how. So I will link to that in the description. So if any of you want to change it, your name your channel name, you can do it. I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed, watched my first video, gave me a bunch of comments. Uh, I have been seriously obsessed with floss tube. And when I say seriously, I mean I'm up until midnight every night. My husband goes to bed at 8 o'clock because he gets up at like oh dark 30 for work. So I've been staying up and stitching for two or three hours, uh, watching you guys, subscribing. It's just been amazing. Uh, a few people said they, I have a bunch of notes, as you'll see, and I think I looked in the wrong friggin' spot. I, it is so hard to not look right in the center when you have to look over here. Anyway, a few people said they wanted to see my finishes up close, the wall that I showed everybody. So in the future, I will do that. I will pull some down, maybe do like all my Lizzie Cates, all my country cottage needleworks, all my little house needleworks, all my mirabilia, and talk about them, the fabrics, blah, 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 blah. You guys will like that. In watching all of your videos, normally, let me preface this, which my husband laughs when I say this, I'm normally a one at a time stitcher, meaning I will start a project and I will go all the way till the end before I start another one. All of your videos have inspired me to do a rotation and I figure there's four weeks in a month I will do four projects. Now Brian Litton who I've watched a couple of his videos and I really love them he had a really great idea which I don't know if I will actually do this because boy could my rotation go off the rails if I do this. But at the end of his rotation, like if I do four projects and it's four weeks, at the end of the four weeks, he will add another project to his rotation. And I thought, hmm, that sounds cool because you'd be able to look forward to a new start at the end of those four weeks. But boy, if you're doing some big projects like Mirabilis or something, that could get out of hand. And all of a sudden I've got eight projects and I'm working on them once every eight weeks, which so we'll have to see on that. So my first rotation project is Mirabilia's Aphrodite Mermaid. Now, I have been working on this all week, and I've gotten quite a bit done, I have to say, for working on it all week. So I'm going to show you guys. Now let me take the pattern off so I'm not infringing something and someone's going to get mad because I showed the pattern on the video. And I probably should have done this before I started taping. Oh my God, I did my nails yesterday and I can't get the magnets off. <laughs> okay. This, wow, that's horrible with the lighting. Let me try to hold up something behind it. That is not gonna work, wait a minute. Does that help some? Yeah. So I'm going to try to get it close to the camera so you can see that I've actually, and there's a bunch of chronic in there. And boy, let me tell you, that chronic blows. <laughs> uh, I even used Thread Heaven on it. I don't know what that's about, but it was so nice to go back to stitching DMC after stitching a bunch of chronic, let me tell you. So. It's crossed wing linen by you. I think I told you that in my last video. Now, if you notice, this is in a hoop. This is really nice hoop. This is the Hardwick Manor ones. Love it. 
I had ordered the roll of frame scroll frames and I got them. However, holy crap, a pain in my ain trying to get that fabric on there. I could not get it tight enough. And I spent so much time on a night that I normally would have been stitching. I got zero stitching done because of fooling with that scroll frame. So I said, okay. I'm either going to be using a Q-snap or using a hoop or something and just beading at the end, which I've never done that before and not looking forward to it, but I'm going to try it. And the Stash Queens video, she uses a hoop and I really like that. So I'm going to use hoops. Okay. And I'm also, this is also another first, I'm going to do the skin on Aphrodite one over one. Uh, I've watched so many videos of you guys doing the skin one over one. Uh, my friend Jill is doing her Sleeping Princess, the skin's one over one. It's gorgeous. However, it is tedious and it is quadruple the stitches. And do you see how much skin is on Aphrodite? I'm going to show you. Look at that skin, like her half of her body is skin. Yeah, I, I may be uh, cussing a bit on my videos when I get to that point. Uh, I will keep you posted because I will probably be doing that last. I will do all the other stitching and then I will do that. Okay, moving on. Project two. Oh boy. Yeah, if you guys remember my last video, I, since April, I had been working on Bothy Threads Alice in Wonderland. I had had quite a bit of that project done considering I've been doing it for three months. I decided to count down to the end to see how much I was going to have left. Hmm, how do I put this? I'm not going to have enough fabric to finish it. As I realized that, I thought, first of all, it's my fault. I cut the fabric because it was just such a large piece, I thought. Well, cut, uh, bleh. measure twice, cut once, people. So, what do you think I did? I threw that M effort in the trash can. I could not, I could not, I wouldn't have enough fabric. So instead of crying and going into a corner in a ball because I wasted two months stitching on that, I am going to start another Bothy Threads as my second project in my rotation. And this is for Coffee Stitcher. I am going to do The Wizard of Oz, which is in my trusty mesh bag, which I love. It is this one. Um, totes love that man. but. I have discovered, hate stitching Ada, Aida, Ada. I've heard stuff pronounced 8,000 ways and you would think after 20 years of stitching that I would know how to pronounce it. I say Ada, so that's what I'm gonna say. So that Ada for this went in the closet and then I was on the search for a fabric. I found a fabric on Hand Dyed Stephanie, Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie's website called Jello Shots and it's like this bright green and so I ordered that. So until I get that fabric, this is going to be waiting in my rotation. But if you notice, so that's the front. When you get a Bothy Threads kit, it comes with this. This is the hank of thread and you see all this metallic-y stuff? No, no, don't, don't stitch with, I don't stitch with that. I and I'm going to put them in here. I use Rainbow Gallery Petite Braid, which I love. And I have like a whole crap load of them. So red. And then silver as I turn that around. So I'm going to substitute that for that project, which I'm going to put it right in my bag right now. So I don't forget. So as soon as I get the fabric from that, I'm going to start working on that. So that's project number two. Project 
number three is Lizzie Kate's Spook Mystery. I've done a bunch of Lizzie Kate stuff. I love her stuff. I love Halloween stuff. And again, I'm waiting on fabric because as you'll know or learn, I like to make my projects sort of unique to me, which means changing the fabric to a hand dyed and not just like a plain hand dyed. I like color. I like for it to stand out. So I ordered another piece of fabric from hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie for that project tinted gel or tint, I don't know how to pronounce that. I hope it fits. I hope it's going to work. Um, again, waiting on that. So as soon as that comes in, I will be able to throw that in the rotation. But I did, I'm trying to find it. I did order everything for it. So I'm just waiting for the fabric. I got patterns one and two, which those are the only two parts. And there's one more part that's coming out. I got all of the week's dye works floss and I got the embellishment pack. I get everything. When I order a project, just get it all. And you'll see I use these mesh bags, which I really love to organize all my projects. And I'll turn the camera because I told you I had the IKEA cart and I had all my coloring stuff in it. Well, I decided to move all my coloring stuff to my closet and put all of my stitching stuff in there. So let me move this camera really quick, trying to do it smoothly. And you'll see, you can see the cart and I have all my stitching stuff in there for right now. And that's how it's gonna stay. I actually today, to the uh, amusement of my husband, I ordered another cart because I wanna put all my stitching stuff in there and I told him I'm gonna fill that first cart like soon. And he was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. So that cart will be here soon. I'm going to put it, I'll flip the camera again, right next to this one, move my trash can under my desk, and that cart will fit right there and look great with all my crap in it. Okay. The fourth project, I'm moving the camera, on my rotation is going to be Country Cottage Needleworks, Stop and Smell the Roses. I bought this pattern and floss when I was at my LNS a couple weeks ago for a stitch night. And I don't know about you, but I hate stitching with white DMC. I don't know why. It doesn't seem to lay good. I don't know. So here's the pattern. I'm just trying to get the glare off of it. I love those roses at the top. I love the pinks. I substituted the white. I mean, I'm sorry, I substituted Weeks Dye Works Bashful, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It's got like a pinky tone to it, so it's not like white, white. It's like a pinky white. So we'll see how that goes. But the fabric I got for it is Cross Wing Linen Turnstone. Let's pull that baby out because I got this just over the weekend. And I think it's going to look so good. God, I should have, why did I do this? Let me try to close my blind. That might help with stuff. No, it really didn't. <laughs> it just made me look more orangey. Um, damn it. I'm trying to think. This fabric is so pretty. I think it's really going to look really, really good. I got to figure out. Let me try to do it this way if you can see it. It's like a beigey sort of, but it's got like bright spots of like pink. I think it'll look really good. And I love cross wing linen. So I will be putting that in my rotation here very soon. I'm actually waiting on another hoop because um, I'm a nut ball in that way. Like I'm going to get a hoop for each project because I don't want to constantly be switching hoops and all that. I want to grab something and go. So those are my four projects. As soon as I get the fabric for everything, I'll be able to, you know, start doing it. But for right now, I will just continue to work on Aphrodite Mermaid. Okay. Stash. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was so good for a couple of months and didn't really buy very much. But then I started watching your videos. Boy, I fell off the wagon. And I don't mean just fall off the wagon. 
when I fell off and laying on the ground, the wagon ran over me, backed up, and ran over me again. So I have a lot of stuff on order, but I did get some stuff so I can show you some stuff. Now, I also subscribe to Sephora's uh, Play. It's like a $10 membership a month and you get makeup samples. And they usually send everything in like these little bags that usually I hate, but this one's I really liked. Look at that like ice cream bar. And it's like a drawstring. So I have all of my Rainbow Gallery Petite threads in here. It was just so cute. I had to keep it. I got some hoops. Here's another little size. I have the 10 inch. I got some patterns. Country Cottage Needleworks cakes and the floss. You can see that. I got... Lizzie Kate's a little bee. Yeah, I friggin' hate the linen that comes in these kits, so I will be changing that. And this, holy, holy, holy moly. I saw this on someone's video or a website. Look at that mermaid tail floss thing. Oh my God. Yeah, I got that. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Probably a small project. It only has like six holes, but the color in it. Oh my God. Okay. I also got Mirabilia's Rapunzel. Um, love that. And I got all the floss and the beads and the fabric I'm going to do her on. I'm just going to hold it up a little bit because the lighting in here. Look at that. It is cross-winged linens, good God, October, I think that's the name, October. Really, really pretty. It's like a peachy orange, and it's got green and pink and all kinds of colors in it. So, got everything ready to start for that one. And I also like to kit up on my projects. I don't like to just buy patterns. I like to kit it all up. That way, ready to go. Okay, was that it for stash? Oh my god, no. Huh? Well, I got this cool cell phone case. Etsy. And it has my name at the bottom. Love it. But as far as stitching related, Vanna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher, in one of her videos, talked about Logitech wireless keyboard for like your iPad and your cell phone. Uh, I had to go buy that. <laughs> um, have you ever tried to type on the virtual keyboard on your iPad? No. No. So, I went right to Amazon and got that bad boy. Oh my God, this thing. Oh my God. $21.94, free shipping because I was an Amazon Prime member. Love. I can't say enough about that. It is like typing on a regular computer. It is heavenly. Love it. Okay. And I also bought some Thread Heaven. Now, my husband, when I was showing him some of the stuff I had gotten, he says, didn't you already have that? Yes. I uh, can't find it. So, I bought another one. Now, if any of you have Thread Heaven, you will notice that the plastic thing that comes on it, it says do not cut it. I almost cut it until I saw the big words, do not cut, because it acts like a hinge to keep the lid open. So take that to heart. Well, I'm getting through my stuff a lot quicker than I thought I was going to. Okay, so that was it for stash, but trust me, there is some stash coming, my friends. So you will be getting your eyes filled in the next couple weeks. Let's talk about out of print Mirabilia patterns. I have been a fan of Mirabilia for a long, long time. In the very beginning, it's all I stitched for a lot of years. I don't know why I never bought Sleeping Beauty, The Dreamer, or Villa Mirabilia, but those are the three that are out of print that I want. Now, 
I managed to get Sleeping Beauty on eBay for $19.99, which I thought was very reasonable. So I bought that. And I also got The Dreamer today, which was amazing, for $12.95. That's the retail price. Snatch that bad boy up because I put Mirabilia search in eBay, so I get emails when any new Mirabilia patterns come on eBay. I'm still looking for Villa Mirabilia, however, because I am not paying $68, $69, $75. No, no. Not paying those cuckoo prices. No. Now, I also bought Cinderella, and Cinderella is not out of print. Cinderella is still available on 123 Stitch, where I got it for $12.59. And it was even on Stitching Bits and Bobs for $11.20, which I didn't realize until after I bought it on 123 Stitch. But why I mention I mentioned Cinderella because recently Leslie of Under the Sea Fabrics had a stash sale on a Facebook page that she made. And she had a Cinderella pattern up for sale, and it went for $31. Yeah, don't, I don't quite get that, because I don't think it was signed, so $31, and you could buy it at Stitching Bits and Bobs for $11.20, anyway, yeah, I thought that was nuts out, cuckoo, okay, now, <laughs> this next thing, you're not going to believe it, many of you might have heard by now about DMC's golden skein, 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 again, that's another term that I had no clue how to say it, skein, I think it is. If those of you who don't know, I'm going to pull it up and show you on my trusty dusty iPad. Okay, now, my friend Jill texted me the link to this last week and the clever little minx that she is. She sent me the link, but not the one that showed the price. So after I read it, oh no, I need to know how much this bad boy is. So clicky, click, click like 8,000 times and I finally got to the price. Okay, so apparently DMC is celebrating 270 years of making textiles. They have created what's called a golden skein. It is a 24 karat gold washed skein. And it comes in like this. Wait a minute, I'm going to I'm going to find it so you can see the box. Okay, well, first of all, here's a picture of the skein. Oh, what the? They want me to subscribe to the newsletter. No. Okay. Here's a picture of the skein. Mm-hmm. It's gold. Yeah. Now, it goes through and describes the process of making it. And it comes in this box with this ribbon and certificate. Now, take a note of the price when I show you this. Do you see that 115? $115? No. No, people. No. I told my husband, unless I can wear that around my neck like a piece of jewelry, no. <laughs> And then I have myself laughing because I'm imagining walking around with a skein of floss on a necklace what, and what that would look like. Do you know what I can buy for $115? I can kit up like two Mirabilias. Uh, probably more than that. I could buy a whole hell of a lot more than one skein of floss. And then somebody was joking that they were going to like stitch their whole project in it or something. No. Please, people, no. I can't, no. <laughs> Do not buy that. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Now, one of the projects I saw that I want to stitch and put in my rotation eventually is ink circles, the circ the circles, or it, it's this one. As soon as I find. 
Oh, bloody hell, I meant. Sorry, not mean to be British cussing. Okay, here is what the original looks like. Now, I saw this on Evergreen Needles website. A oh, website. Pfft. Her video. The original. I gotta find someone that stitched it in the original colorway because most people changed it. Okay, here's someone that stitched it in the original colorway. On black fabric, by the way. Yeah, I remember when that came out, and I think I was intimidated by such a large project. So, and stitching something that big in one color. So, I didn't buy it. Well, I bought it. And then I went to, Ink Circles has a page on their website of people that have stitched it in and, and all different colors. And I saw this colorway. Okay, I saw this colorway. Oh my God, isn't that like a maze balls? Yeah. So luckily, there was a description next to it as to what colors they use. They use silk in color, so it was all done in silk. So I'm like, cool, there's all the colors. I go off to look. Naturally, one of the colors is discontinued. Can't find it anywhere. Can't find it on eBay. I mean, I went down a rabbit hole, people, trying to look for all these silk colors. In one store, by the way. I hate having to shop at like eight different places for five skeins of something. So I finally said to myself, all right, after like an hour this morning, I'm going to try to find all of those colors. Now, I didn't like that background pinky color, if you can see it. I wanted like a bright orange or something like that. So I decided to do it in Karen Wildflowers, Water Lilies, whatever their silk line is. I think it's Water Lilies. So I finally, I converted it and bought, and bought those and they're on the way too. And by the way, Karen Water Lilies or whatever it is are cheaper than silk in colors. So win-win on that one. Now, what fabric I'm going to stitch it on? No clue because I'm not stitching on black. I did order a bunch of fabrics from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie, though, that I don't have projects for. So we'll see. Because, man, that will be the bomb when I stitch it. Another one I ordered. The Evergreen Needle. Dude, like, enabler. Holy crap. Love her videos. Man, she just made me want to go out and buy so many projects. The Twisted Sampler. Twisted Rainbow Sampler by Northern, Ex Northern Expressions. I've seen that one a lot. That is a gorgeous one. And 123 Stitch had that. And the Silk Pack by Dinky Dyes. So I bought that. <laughs> I told you I went off the rails. Off the rails, off the wagon, whatever you want to say. My credit card is screaming. Out of my purse, running down the road. Yeah, it... Oh my God, people, though. I get this stuff stitched. It's going to look so good. So, that stuff is coming. So you will be able to feast your eyes. Now, I told you I've been watching a lot of floss tube videos. And when I say a lot, I'm talking a lot. A whole lot. And I just wanted to kind of give a shout out to some of my favorites so far. This doesn't mean I don't love all of you. These are just the people that really, really caught my eye. First of all, Vanna Pfeiffer. Please, Vanna. Bow to the queen here. I love her videos. She's so funny. And it kind of makes me not feel so cuckoo and crazy about this hobby of buying stuff and not buying stuff and yeah. Coffee Stitcher. He was the first one that I really saw when I searched for floss tube. He cracks me up. I like in the beginning, I'm looking down at my notes, when he asks how everybody is and then he stops like he's waiting for our answer and he's like, oh, that's so great. I'm so glad. It could it's great. It's, it's so cordial. It just cracks me up every time he does it. Another one is Melody Stitches. She is a very solitary person, as she describes herself, introvert. And I just really related to her because I feel the same way. I would rather be home, stitching, watching a movie, doing anything but going outside and associating with people most of the time. Uh, another one is Stitcher Moose. Oh, my God. This is a guy. He is hilarious, and he actually went to my LNS 
I almost flipped out watching his video and he kept calling it the stitching spot when in fact it is the stitching post. And he hasn't posted a video in like a year and I sent him a comment like, dude, where are you? Why aren't you posting any more videos? And he wrote me back and said he had the flu and different kinds of things like that. So hopefully he'll be posting some more because I really missed his videos. He's hilarious. And I mentioned just a few minutes ago that Evergreen Needle, she's great. Boy, does she get a lot of stuff done. And like Mirabilia stuff, she's amazing. And she hadn't posted in a while either. And I sent her a comment saying, I just found your channel. I wish you would post some more videos. And she just posted one this week. So it was really great to see her little update. Oh, and of course, you want to talk about bowing down to the queen. Bowing down to the stash queen. This woman, I just found her channel and I've been watching her videos since yesterday because she has like 80, 90, I don't know. So I have a ways to go. I think I'm on video seven, eight. She has like, she's, the first video I watched, she had 59 whips. Fifth, I thought I heard wrong. I rewound it. I was like, oh my God, where do you even put 59 projects? Five, nine. But then she finished something and now it's like 57. Oh my God, all the stash. I have like a wish list now because let me tell you, got to stop buying. At least for a while I have to. So in my notebook of notes, I have a wish list of fabric and patterns because I just got to start making a wish list, people. Got to. Okay, so she was awesome. And that was it. That was the only ones I had. So I thought this video would be a lot longer, but I guess a half hour is long enough, right? Consider my other one was only like 11 minutes. So until next week, I will be working on Aphrodite Mermaid again this week until I get some other stuff in. Or maybe I'll start the um, Country Cottage Needleworks Roses one because I could technically start that tomorrow as the second project in my rotation. Maybe I'll do that. That'd be neat to work on something else. And so hopefully I'll get some fabric in, but I might not because I know it's, uh, Stephanie takes a couple weeks because it's only her doing it. So we'll see. But as I get fabric for the other projects, I'll throw them in and, and be updating you guys and all that. So I guess that's it. Until next week, probably Monday. I just, like I said, I had some time today to shoot today's video. Until next week, happy stitching. I will see you in your videos, hopefully. Thank you for subscribing and watching. If you have any questions, oh, someone asked me a question. I'm glad I said that. But if you have any questions, comment. Brian Litton actually come, uh, asked me a question. When I use scroll frames, he said, do I use anything to protect when I do a scroll frame? So, no, I don't. I don't protect anything use anything to protect it. I just roll it up. I've never had a problem with it. It's never been a problem. Not at all. And I've done a lot of projects that way. So there's your answer. So good luck if you go, if you go that way and do that. So until next week, happy stitching and I will see you soon.